Hello and welcome to the first in a series of training videos for the shipping container home design software from containerhome.info. Now this first training video may seem overly simplistic. It's simply going to cover the installation and setup of the software. But please watch the video because at the end of the video we're going to show you how to adjust some preference settings in the software itself. So by now you should have received an email in your inbox that contains a link to both our training tutorials and to the download link for the software itself. So what we need to do is we need to click on the link for the download software and you can see here this gives me an opportunity to save my file. Now the download uh, size is 32 meg for the software. That's going to take a variable amount of time depending on how fast your internet connection is. So we'll fade out here and come back in just a couple of minutes. Okay, we're back and you can see the shipping container home design software has downloaded. So we're now going to install the software itself on our PC. And what we need to do is basically accept the, uh, the next button here, accept the uh, terms and conditions of our software license. And we can choose a, uh, a setting where we would like to install the software. Now the default setting is simply in the C drive program file shipping container home design software. Let's just choose next and start the installation process. Okay, so the software is installed and when we exit the installation, you can see that the software itself will automatically start up. Let's just clear this installer here. And it presents us with our default world or startup world. Now what I'd like you to do is go to the Windows Preferences Render tab, and we can access that under Windows Preferences, or we can simply set, press the letter P on our computer keyboard and what I want you to do is look at this setting here for anti-aliasing and for maximum texture size. Now I've got my anti-aliasing turned on. If you don't know what anti-aliasing does, it's basically a setting of your graphics card that reduces the jaggy lines that you'll see on the video image. Um, now, if that box is grayed out, if you don't have the ability to set the anti-aliasing, um, what that means is that you probably don't have a 3D graphics card installed on your computer. You may be running on a shared memory system. Now the software will probably still run, but the visual quality of the image that you see on the screen will be significantly degraded. So let's choose those and click apply and close. Okay. So now we've basically got our default world. The software is installed. If I close this down, you can see what the software's done. It's placed a uh, startup icon on your computer desktop that says shipping container home design software. And we can restart the application at any time we want to use the application by simply double clicking on that icon and the software will start. Okay, so that's it for training tutorial video number one. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, I look forward to you joining us again for training video number two.